a story to tell. I'm excited. Are we telling the truth or are we going to lie? What are we going to do? There was no plan B in my life, ever. Bon Jovi was all or nothing. Five guys from nowhere. And if you work hard enough and you dream big enough, you can make it. There's some young kid around here from New Jersey who's making some noise. They gave me the opportunity to record on weekends and nights. We would go in at like four in the morning and start doing original songs. This sonic boom happened. The energy of the band, undeniable. Like a freight train coming at you. Some of the songs I wrote in my bedroom in New Jersey, I remember the day we wrote Living on a Prayer, not thinking much of the song. I said, that's the best song we've written to date. John's choruses demand to be sung by 20,000 people in an arena. We were just crushing it. Anything that every one of those bands talks about, we did. It was real fun. And I thought everybody else was enjoying it, too. Wrong. I've gone out the next day, and he's just coming in. It destroyed our marriage. But I don't think I should have been married at that time anyway. It almost killed us. Every night was a war. I don't regret leaving, but I regret how I did it. Nobody expected Richie to quit in the middle of the night. It was heartbreaking. It was taking a toll. I went out of here. And what I meant was out of Bon Jovi. One thing you can't be in this world is a quitter. So there's no way we're going to slow down. This is the real me, the gray hair, the whole 10 yards. John's going through his challenges. I'm optimistic, but I'm scared. I don't know if there's going to be a happy ending. With every decade comes another life's lesson. It's all or nothing. That's why the legacy matters. Regrets. That key changes. <laughs> you can't be 60 years old and expect to hit that note anymore.